Chancellor Merkel speaking in the last couple of moments. Here's the headline. We're worried about the COVID-19 Delta variant. Doctor, why should we be worried about the COVID-19 Delta variant? Yes, the Delta variant looks like it's a little more transmissible than some of the variants we've dealt with before. But thank goodness, it's still the vaccines are protective. So if you haven't gotten vaccinated, this is the, ch the chance. This is your opportunity to get immunity before you get exposed, because it's looking like you will be exposed to this virus. So um, don't delay. So, Dr. Granville, what's the logic of places like Israel closing or perhaps delaying the reopening to foreign uh, visitors because of the Delta variant, because 100 people uh, got diagnosed with COVID, given the fact that people are not getting hospitalized? And frankly, these vaccinations are protective against the variant. Yeah, well, not everybody is able to respond to the vaccine in the same way. And perhaps, um, you know, you don't want to take that risk. Um, there are still maybe children who haven't been vaccinated. So um, it's, it's taking an opportunity that maybe could have been taken early in the pandemic to try and limit the import of infections um, if you had the ability to test and to, to do contact tracing. And this is coming at a time uh, when Germany's uh, Angela Merkel is saying that there needs to be more coordination between the European region in terms of the travel guidelines. What's the threshold in your mind in terms of vaccination rates, in terms of hospitalizations, where we can get a sort of more consistent protocol globally in terms of travel, in terms of testing, in terms of quarantining? Yeah, I think you're not going to get a good answer about that, except that um, that it's that's not enough what we have right now. Um, the, there's still a lot of problems with access to vaccine, and so um, we need to make sure that the people who are most vulnerable and the people who are interacting with others and transmitting it to each other, that they are also prioritized for vaccination, because it's a lot of the younger people that are transmitting these these variants. Doctor, I'm curious how you respond to people who say you look at countries like the UK and Israel with the best vaccination rates, and yet they can't reopen their economy because, to Lisa's point, you see a rise in infections, sometimes asymptomatic cases. Some people say that sort of undermines the confidence in the vaccines. How do you respond? Um, well, two doses are better than one, and so that's part of the problem with the UK, that um, there are still a lot of people who haven't had their second dose. Um, so I think, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what to say to that, except that uh, for you personally and your family, you will be better protected if you have both doses of the vaccine. And there is even some discussion now um, about whether or not people who are particularly vulnerable, who have had the one-shot J&J vaccine, whether they might uh, consider topping it off with a, with, a, um, with a second shot, because the second shot seems to be, um, you know, uh, more protective. Do you see a time in the near future, similarly to the flu 100 years ago, where we just learn to live with the virus? Well, we're not going to eradicate this virus. Uh, any thought that um, that we're going to be able to take this away from the planet is um, that's just not going to happen. It took a lot of effort, and it was very particular conditions to eradicate smallpox from from uh, the planet. And uh, we're not going to be able to replicate that here, especially because this virus can also infect a lot of different animals. Um, so we are going to live with it, but let's you know learn to live with it with a high vaccination rate and uh, high testing, um, we can do that and we can certainly limit uh, severe disease.